Hello and welcome to the second part of my video series about MQTT on Raspberry Pi Pico and W5500. If you haven't seen the previous part, I highly recommend you check it out. Link is in the description. Now, what will you need? The Pi Pico, a W5500 board and some sort of a sensor. I will use the DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor. Software-wise, you will need access to a MQTT broker and you will also need Phony, the IDE. Furthermore, the Pi Pico has to be set up with the correct firmware. Again, check out the first part of this series to flash the Pico with correct version of MicroPython. We will reuse most of our code from last part of the tutorial, but we will add a couple of things. DHT communication is integrated into MicroPython. So all we have to do is call import DHT and we will also want to import JSON. Then we initialize an instance of DHT11 on the correct pin. Next, we will add a function that reads the data to the sensor and returns it as a tuple. This can be done by calling sensor.measure and then retrieving the values by calling sensor.temperature and sensor.humidity and returning the data. Now we will replace our message in the main loop of the program. Let's construct our MQTT message by creating a dictionary with keys, temperature and humidity and our values from the sensor. We can then call json.dumps on our dictionary which converts it to json format. Now we replace the original message with our json. Finally, if we run our program and open MQTT Explorer, we can see that we are getting current humidity and temperature every 3 seconds. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode where we will blink a LED on the Pi Pico using MQTT.